The 2023 biathlon season saw a highly competitive field of athletes with 14 world championship medalists, seven Olympic medalists, three previous overall winners, and many other top-notch competitors. Despite finishing 12th place overall in 2022, France's Julia Simone emerged as the unlikely winner of the season's top prize. Simone had been a regular contender in the Biathlon World Cup circuit, but managed to surpass the most talented and experienced biathletes in the world to clinch the championship. Her exceptional performance caught everyone by surprise, leaving fans and analysts shocked. Simone's journey to the top was one of determination, progress, and a little bit of good fortune, and it's a story worth delving into. The 2023 biathlon season had its share of unexpected outcomes, but the most unexpected of all was the incredible rise of Julia Simone to become the overall champion. I'd like to take a moment to thank my supporters on Patreon for all the support that they've given me over the years. A lot of time and energy goes into producing videos like these, so if you're a Biathlon fan and you'd like to support the channel, consider checking out the link in the description below and support me on Patreon. As a patron, you are entitled to exclusive perks such as exclusive full-length interviews, early access to content, and more. Born in Albertville, France in 1996, Julia Simone showed an early talent for skiing and qualified for the Youth World Championships at 17 years old, where she would earn a bronze medal. Although she continued to compete at the junior level and occasionally earned senior level starts on the IBU Cup and World Cup, her performances were not exceptional. While her skiing gradually improved, her shooting accuracy remained consistently below standard with an average shooting of around 80%. Julia became a regular in the 20s to 30s on the World Cup, but her challenges on the range made her a run-of-the-mill team member for the French team rather than a future star. Despite her years of improvement, Julia Simone finished the 2022 season ranked 12th overall and was far from the top of the biathlon field. And the list of probable champions ahead of Simone was stacked with talent and accomplishments. First, the overall champion. Marta Olsby Roisland had already earned five medals at the 2022 Beijing Olympics. Tyrell Ekhoff and Elvira Oiberg were both considerably faster skiers than Simone. With Ekhoff being the 2021 champion and Oiberg touted as a prodigy of the sport, they both skied about 1.5% faster than Simone, translating to a 30 second lead per sprint race over Simone. Lisa Teresa Hauser and Dorothea Veer were known for their sharpshooting abilities, which capitalized on Simone's weakest attribute, her shooting percentage. In every race, they could consistently rely on an extra 150 meter penalty loop advantage to beat Simone. Hannah Oiberg and Denise Herman were also all round better athletes who would routinely beat Simone head to head. Not to mention Simone wasn't even the best among her French teammates, with Anaïs Chevalier-Boucher and Justine Brézat-Boucher ranked higher than her at the conclusion of the 22 season and demonstrated an upward trajectory in recent seasons. Given the strong competition, it was unlikely that Julia Simone would emerge as the top contender in the biathlon season. Her past performances had been respectable, but not exceptional. The field was simply too stacked with talent, and Simone would need to see massive improvement to consistently become a favorite. As the 2023 biathlon season approached, the field was already beginning to look different. Notably absent were some of the top contenders, including Dinara Alambekova due to the international ban on Russian and Belarusian athletes, Simone's teammate Justine Brezat Boucher also announced that she would be sitting out the season due to pregnancy, and to add to the mix, Tira Lekov and Marta Olsby Roislin were both facing health issues that would prevent them from competing for the foreseeable future. Despite these significant absences, Simone was still far from the top rankings, sitting on the back end of the top 10. Experts around the world predicted these absences from the World Cup would open the door for stars from Germany or Sweden, but not a French woman. As the 2023 season began, it was evident that Julia Simone had undergone a transformation. She kicked off the first weekend with a victory in the Contiolati Pursuit, followed by two more podium finishes in the Hochfeldsen series. Her three medal performances in just five races earned her the coveted yellow bib, 
signaling her status as the leader in the overall rankings. Uh, this year I feel uh, very confident and, uh, and I really enjoy being on the shooting range and it's a lot of pleasure, so yeah, it's, I'm really happy. I don't know how to say, it's feel, it feels easy today. <laughs> it feels really easy and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think I need to remember this race for, for the, 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 the rest of the season and, um, and stay focused. Wearing the yellow bib can be a daunting experience for any athlete, with the added pressure of performing well while carrying the weight of expectation. For Julia Simone, the pressure was especially high as the World Cup Tour traveled to France and she had to wear the yellow bib in front of a packed NSA Le Grand Bernon crowd. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's going to be something crazy to race at home with the yellow bib. Friends, family, everyone will be there, so yeah. Yeah, uh, for now I, I enjoy it and uh, I don't uh, think about that. But uh, yeah, I think it's something uh, really crazy to live in, uh, in my athlete life, so I will enjoy a lot uh, this moment. Julia had some clutch shooting stages when the races were on the line. In front of home fans, she managed to earn two additional podium results and established a commanding lead as the World Cup paused for the holiday break. Little did Julia know that her lead in the overall standings would not be safe for long. As the Biathlon World Cup resumed after the break, a challenger would emerge to threaten her position at the top. As the new year began, Sweden's Elvira Oiberg kicked off 2023 with incredible ferocity. Winning the first two races of the year, her confidence was soaring, and she was determined to close the gap to Julia Simone in the overall rankings. The two athletes had been engaged in a fierce head-to-head -head battle, and the World Cup circuit was abuzz with excitement over their rivalry. The Poke Luca pursuit was a particularly intense showdown between the two. Starting just six seconds apart, Elvira and Julia pushed each other to their limits, but it was Elvira who ultimately prevailed, besting Simone on the range. Elvira would continue to apply pressure on roop holding and take advantage of Simone's poor shooting and on holds. Julia would fail to reach the flower ceremony as Elvira earned podiums in both races. In just three weekends, Elvira managed to climb within striking distance of Simone in the overall standings heading into the world championships. With the stakes higher than ever, all eyes were on Elvira and Julia as they prepared to face off once again on the world stage. The anticipation was palpable, and fans of the sport were eager to see which athlete would reign supreme in the most important races of the season. However, in an unfortunate stroke of luck for Simone, Oybert's chances of taking the overall title slipped away, as she contracted the COVID virus and would miss the majority of the World Championships and the remainder of the season, leaving Julia Simone in a comfortable position to claim the overall title at the end of the year. However, despite Elvira's unfortunate circumstance, Julia Simone's overall title was not solely due to her absence. It was Simone's exceptional improvement and consistency throughout the season that earned her the coveted overall globe. Notably, Simone improved her ski speed by two seconds per kilometer, making her one of the fastest skiers in the top 10 and ranking her as the sixth fastest skier on the scene. Additionally, her shooting percentage played a crucial role in propelling her past her competitors. By increasing her prone and standing percentages by almost 7%, Simone went from being a below average shooter to borderline elite. Her impressive shooting performance of 88.5% surpassed even her top 10 rivals Dorothea Vier and Lisa Hauser. However, after further investigation, it was Simone's performance in head-to-head -head races this season that garnered her overall title. Remarkably, Simone would shoot 5 seconds faster in head-to-head -head competitions yet maintain her newfound exceptional hit percentage. The speed and accuracy would put pressure on her competitors to keep pace, and as a result, her average rank in the head-to-head -head races was even better than her rank in individual competitions. All of these improvements combined with fierce competitiveness made for an incredible season for Simone. Not only did she double her career wins, but she was on the podium 50% of the time and in the top 10 nearly every race. A massive improvement over her previous career performance where podiums were a rare occasion. As the 2024 season commences, Fans are eager to see if Simone will be able to repeat her dominant performance, or if a challenger will dethrone her at top of the biathlon world. However, this time, it's not just competitors who will be stressing Simone. The French legal system will add to the list of opponents this season. In June 2023, 
It was reported that Simone was charged with two accounts of credit card fraud, one charge being filed by her teammate, Justine Breza Boucher. As a result of these accusations, Simone removed herself from participation in French national team training camps and the majority of the summer roller ski races. Simone maintains her innocence in the case, but one cannot deny the immense stress this must have caused the biathlon champion over the summer training period, and not to mention the stress that it will be within the French women's team this winter, as Breza Boucher makes her return to the circuit after maternity leave. Regardless, the 2023 Biathlon World Cup season featured its fair share of unexpected twists, but none more astonishing than the extraordinary ascent of Julia Simone to the pinnacle of the sport as the overall champion. Challenged by a fiercely competitive field of athletes that included numerous world champions and Olympic medalists, Simone defined all expectations to claim the season's top honor. Her journey to this remarkable achievement is a testament to determination, progress, and a touch of luck.